My name is Richardson Retractor. And today we're going to talk about this unique retractor that you will almost always see in any sterile processing department around the globe. If you've got a general tray, you've got a Richardson Retractor in your tray. This particular unit here is nine and a half inches in overall length. It has a blade. It's actually, in this case, kind of a, a square blade because it's got the same dimensions. It's an inch and a half deep, right? And that's how we're measuring depth here. And then it's an inch and a half wide. So that's across the blade itself. Uh, one of the unique things about these particular devices is you'll see these handles and depending on the manufacturer, sometimes these will come with uh, solid handles in here or you'll have these cut out handles that actually make the device much lighter in your trays. And then again, depending on the manufacturer, sometimes you will see, let's see if we can get a good shot of this, you will have actually a hollow tube right down the middle here into the handle itself. Now what's important to know about that um, tube or that cannula kind of blooming there is that that is a, a perfect hiding ground for residual debris. So it's very important in the manual cleaning stage as you're cleaning these devices to number one, identify what it is that you've got in front of you, but then number two, be aware of the potential for debris to be hiding in there. On the clean side, obviously, that's the last uh, line of defense. So you're going to want to do your due diligence to uh, examine in there visually, but then also look inside this hollow handle if you happen to have a hollow handle device. And then finally, as you're inspecting, as I mentioned, we've got a link here that we want to be concerned about that should be included on the count sheets. And then you've also got the depth of the retractor blade itself and then the width of the retractor blade as you look at it from the top. Now once you've identified that it is actually the correct uh, device, you, your final step in addition to, to making sure that it's um, clean on the handle is to examine this distal tip here for any uh, chips cracks, any ridges or burrs, it's very easy for these to get little notches out of them during use. So make sure that you're taking a close look all around the outside of your Richardson retractor blades prior to uh, processing them in the assembly area. Uh, depending on where you work and your particular department protocol, some of these just go kind of open in the bottom of your tray. Sometimes you'll see them nestled in among larger Richardson retractors. And then occasionally you will also see these uh, placed into those paper sterilization bags within the tray. Okay, that's all for now. Thank you for watching another episode of Hello, My Name Is. And until next time, keep fighting dirty.